Howdy. This is Clouds. And today, what? Well, Alright, before, before I say anything else, I feel like I kind of have to address this, um, server's name and description. Wow. What a, what a interesting lad the, uh, server renter must be. It, I, I don't know, I just, I obviously do not agree and condone that. Yeah, I just wanted to say that because, uh, I don't know. You guys see that I'm playing on a server with weird names. And you're like, oh, uh, I see, I see you've been playing on the, um, 9-11 was an inside job done by the, uh, Jewish lizard people in conjunction with the, um, zombie unicorns. W w w what's going on with that, Clouds? W what are you doing? So, this is my first PS4 gameplay on this, and, and this, I don't know, I just picked, you know, a decent round. I don't really have a lot to say as far as, like, you know, breaking down the tactics of it. You know, just your standard rush game on, uh, Dawnbreaker. But, uh, I am liking the, uh, Battlefield 4 on PS4. One thing I gotta say though, I'm the the Dual Shock controller. I'm so not used to that yet. I mean, and you gotta figure. I've been using the um, Dual Shock Three for for my entire career of Battlefield because I first started with Battlefield Three. And if you like combine my hours in Battlefield Three and Four on the PS3. I probably have like 2,000 hours, and that's all with that one controller. So obviously if you switch something around, it's gonna take a while to get used to it, but uh, I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. I don't know, and if, if you play on the PS4, it, do, do you use, do you swap L1, R1 with L2, R2? I know you have that option. I'm, uh, I'm currently using the L2 and R2 to aim and fire. I I tried L1 and R1, but it feel, it's not the same as on PS3 because like the buttons are like extra clicky. I don't know. I'm I'm not sure which setup I will uh, stick with. But um, this gameplay was recorded with the share function, the uh, little share button. It's it's quite convenient, I gotta say, because. With the PS3, when you're recording on a console and you have, like, an external capture device, you gotta deal with all these cords, and it's like, oh my god. With this, I just, you know, you hit the- you record- you record it right on the PlayStation, and, uh, then you can copy it to a little USB drive. Oh, and I, I was having some technical difficulties with that. I, for some reason, my PS4 wouldn't copy the files over. I got this error code. Hold up, let me. It was C E dash three six four eight eight dash nine. The PlayStation, you know, official help thing. It, it it didn't assist me, but uh, I Google searched it, and this one guy, I don't I don't remember his name. I'll I'll leave a link so he, I can give him proper credit. But what I did to fix the problem from his advice was uh, to delete everything in the USB drive and then try again and that and that fixed my issue so um if you ever have that issue with you know try out that um technique and uh it, it could alleviate your um issues perhaps so yeah that uh share recording button is quite useful um it only records in 720 and 30 FPS. If I use my external capture device, I probably could do 60 FPS, 1080. But the thing is, I don't know. I the computer that I use to um, render and export my videos, it can't play 60 FPS video. It gets like all choppy and weird. So I don't know. I think for now I'm gonna use just this. Um, you know, the share function. Cause it's, it's so convenient. It's so convenient. I love it. Oh, uh, one of the, I'm, I'm sure most people know this, but maybe if you're transferring over to PS3 to PS4, you get the option to 
transfer your player data all over to the PS4. So you don't have to re-unlock, you know, everything. You can get all your unlocks, keep your current rank. And it also transfers your multiplayer trophies over to the PS4. So you can get like those trophies instantly. But the thing is, when you do that, apparently the, it like completely removes the player data from the PS3. So right now, if I wanted to, I don't think I could play on my like Clouds P Rain account on the PS3 for Battlefield 4. So yeah, that's something to uh, consider. Uh, oh, and you know, I'm, I'm playing Rush and uh, there, there's some small differences between last gen and the current gen rush. Last gen is, you know, 24 players max. You already are aware of that with uh, 75 tickets. But current gen, it's up to 32 players and it's got 100 tickets by default. I didn't notice like a huge difference. I was, I was a little worried that I was like, oh man, 32 players. What if this feels like, you know, super clustered? But uh, for, for the maps that I played, I think I think I played um, just a few maps like Flood Zone, Dawnbreaker, and maybe one other. And uh, you know, it, all, it it didn't feel cluttered. Felt pretty good. I I can imagine though, maybe on like Operation Locker, having 32 players might be like a little weird. But um, and and I don't and I don't think the um. I don't think there's any vehicle changes. Like, I don't think because it has more tickets or whatever. And it's, you know, I don't... Oh, wait, look at this. I spawn on this teammate. I'm like, what are you doing? He's using the MAV. And I'm like, oh, all right. This guy, you know, he's playing the objective. I'll leave him to it. And, uh... Yeah, you'll see. He He's playing the objective quite hard. You will, uh... You will see in a short moment. Um, what was I saying before? I, I've been sort of just busy. Like I got some, uh, you know, single-player games on the uh, PS4, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying that out because I, you know, I love Battlefield 4, but it is like two years old, so you know, as, as much fun as I have with it, I, I do like to play other games. And I was curious. I don't know. I definitely want to keep this channel, you know, kind of Battlefield focused. But uh, if you would be interested in seeing perhaps gameplay of other games, you know, let me know. Or maybe, I don't know, the the PS4, it has a share function. Oh, look at this guy. He goes zero and zero, but he gets MVP spotting with the MAV. Wow. That's pretty good. If you would be interested in uh, maybe watching a stream, because I know with the PS4, you can stream straight from the system. I definitely want to try that out, so if you would be interested in seeing that, let me know. And, um, oh yeah, that, I'm going to play out with some, uh, some, some screenshots. Check these out. They're, uh, I think this is probably one of the coolest features that's in the current gen and PC that's not on the last gen. Spectating rounds. It's so, it, like, I don't know. It, it, it's just entertaining to like be a little bird in the sky and and watch over the battlefield as it ensues and you can like you, you can get some pretty cool screenshots by uh, removing the HUD um, it looks quite nice I gotta say it looks very nice so yeah that was my first PS4 gameplay more to come uh, let me know what you thought of the, what, how's the quality look? It's, uh, I mean, obviously it's 720, but the PS4 looks a little bit better. I don't know after I upload this to YouTube, maybe it'll be super bad looking. I hope that it looks quite good. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. I will, uh, I'll see you in the next video. And, oh, I, I will be uploading Uncharted 4 beta gameplay. Maybe it's probably just going to be one video, but, uh, you know, I will do that in case, uh, you want to check that out. Be sure to check that out. Yeah. Um, bye.